So just, just to kind of recap on, on where we were. So as we said, we sent you off to the minister, you had a chat and you were he was moved to a unit in Northampton. Sorry. We all thought here that that was the battle over. That was what, we, what you wanted. That was where he was going to get the most appropriate care. I was totally shocked to read this morning that you said actually that was like going from out of the frying pan into the fire. Exactly. Um, that's what we thought. We, we thought it was the appropriate place for him to be assessed and treated. What we discovered, it was it's an outdated institution like something out of the 19th century. Um, it was, he was, he was locked in there. He, he was um, kept indoors most of the time. He was uh, restrained. Um, he, injected. He was forcibly injected with medication. Um, he, he, he had virtually no education, no real meaningful activity there. And as a result of that, unsurprisingly, his anxiety, which turns out to be the main reason behind the behaviour, yeah. went through the roof. He developed depression. He, he suffered terrifying weight loss. He lost 30 kilos in three oh months. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we, 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 were, we were beyond worried about his mental health. We were worried about his physical health. Yeah. And it, it he sounds terrifying. like he was deteriorating at the time. But, mm -hmm. of course, for you guys, who must have thought that he was going to a safe place, yeah. it must have felt even worse that actually it was a different call. It was a wrong call. Well, that's the, the real problem with when your child is sectioned. Um, the person that becomes responsible for your child's um, treatment care and the person that becomes uh, responsible um, uh, for decisions about whether or not they get released from these institutions is, is actually the psychiatrist who um, is, is heading up... Can rely on the system? Can't yeah, yes. But, but is also employed <laughs> by the... The, the very organisation that, yeah. that profit from him being there. So, I mean, this this facility that you're talking about, this is St Andrews, mm -hmm. and um, and this last night actually was investigated on dispatches, yes. the programme, um, because of the treatment and the care that they offer, uh, which you've just uh, spoken about then. Um, there was a moment on the programme last night where you receive a phone call <laughs> to say that Matthew yeah. is being released yes. <laughs> from this yeah. place and sent somewhere else where actually he's going to get the care that you thought he was getting this time. What's happened? How is he? He is doing incredibly well. He is being cared for and supported by a team of autism specialists who really understand autism. Um, and so he's, he's not even taking antipsychotics anymore. They're not prescribing antipsychotics for him anymore. He's not being injected. He's not being secluded. He's not being restrained. He's out in the community. He is flourishing. No, you know, he's calm mm -hmm. because they're managing his anxiety and his care is overseen by a doctor who um, is a specialist in, in autism and neurodevelopmental and this is a relief not just from that phone call. This is a 16-year relief. Must be for you guys. Diagnosed at three years yeah. old. It must be so incredible for you now to see your son in a safe environment oh, gosh, where he's yeah. just he's looked after. You can see him flourish. Yes. It, 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 it's a terrifying thing to give responsibility of your own child to someone else, and when you when you lose any trust in the, in those people, it's horrific. Now it, he's not home. He's not as close home as we'd love for him to be. But we are. He's in the best care. We yeah. have absolute faith in them. He's flourishing. He's a joy. We're getting our son back. So, yeah, yes. it, it makes Couldn't all the difference. Couldn't ask more than that. And, and a dream came true for him this week because <laughs> didn't he go to visit Anfield, the home of Liverpool yesterday. FC? Yesterday. Yeah. Just oh, yesterday. This has been his dream. Yeah. yeah. And how, how did it go? Oh, my gosh. Well, I spoke to him last night and, and he was over the moon and he I could barely understand what he was saying because he was speaking <laughs> at 100 miles an hour. Um, he had his photo taken next to C Stephen Gerrard's kind of um, picture. hologram thing, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he he was just utterly thrilled because... You can see on his face that he's absolutely beaming. Yeah. And and he's he's been thankful, hasn't he? Because obviously this morning it changed the course of action for Completely. for you guys and he himself was really thankful for what the, what you guys did on coming on well, the show. The, 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 the important thing to say is that the kind of institutionalised care that we we that we are seeing is something that the government does not want for people with learning difficulties and or autism because of you know there's a, an initiative called transforming care which basically says homes not hospitals for people with autism and learning dif and or learning difficulties Matthew didn't need to be in that environment. It, he deteriorated catastrophically. We were afraid for his life, and that you saw the relief there. Yeah, but, I, I knew he was the, safe, the, and it doesn't than, need to be that way. There's more than two thousand young people like Matthew still in 
that situation. And the most vulnerable Matthew's a lucky people. one. There's so many other people still And there. the care is cheaper to the taxpayer. Yeah. It's cheaper um, to, to, and it's more humane. And actually, what happens when your child is sectioned is that you, lo you lose con control but it, does, it shouldn't be that way. And the way that, that your viewers, if they want to help, is to look at the Always cha um, Charter, hashtag um, help to get home, and sign the petition to strengthen parents' rights and get these vulnerable young people help to get home.